All right, so what we have here is a 2004 Quaffy, Quaffy, Quaffy. Uh, it's LSD differential. Uh, basically, LSD is for limited slip diff. Um, this is the one I just pulled out of the tranny. It's got all the busted gears. So uh, I thought this might be a good one to actually try to do a disassembly video on. I've never had one apart. Um, can't damage it any more than what it already is because I'm sure it's had plenty of metal through it. But at least this way we can see what the inside of one of these looks like. So let's let's get this thing taken care of. Um, just got a new uh, Milwaukee uh, Impact. So let's try this thing out. We'll get started on this and then I'll knock out all the, uh, the noise. is for the gear on the housing um, I'm gonna assume that the center section will actually come toward us out of the gear <clears throat> so let's see what I got to do to get that done all right well let's see what happens here actually pretty darn tight I know I'm gonna try this all right here we go basically set this down hit that with the hammer and actually, it just popped right off. I don't know if you... Maybe I'll let that in there, see if you can hear it. But here you go. You can actually see just how bad we got the teeth chunked up on that one. All right, now. This is how you can see what this looks like. See the writing a little bit better. With uh, the bolt out. 28. So that's 5... 28 of 04 is the production day. So... Let's see what else we can get apart here. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what happens here when we take this apart. See if we can actually see inside. See if they'll actually come out. Well, there we go. Actually some pretty long ones. Part a little bit. All right. There has to be a reason the bolts are on the top. So here we go. There's the inside of your limited slip differential. Uh, I guess that's the spring. Very similar to um, some of the differentials I had apart, yeah. Springs. These are like flat. These washers, they actually, uh, looks like they're coned toward each other. If you look. So this is like higher in the middle. And they put them together like that. And then they put uh, two of these closed open parts toward each other. So I guess that 
actually creates a spring for this to fit together in. So when it spins, spinning one of these like this. So this is technically you're turning, it's turning this way. You're probably actually turning. Oh, okay, it will come out. All right, there we go. This, this is the gear that actually uh, is what your um, axle actually goes into. And I'm sure if this is probably the part that catches on the passenger or the driver's side, catches the ring in there. So let's say it goes like this. Ah, there we go. Okay. So you're turning your axle forward. And it turns them one direction and then it's turning the other one the other direction. So I got So yeah, I mean it's possible that there was no real damage in here. But it's not something that I would trust and reuse. So there's the center part. Here's the other part, yep. A whole bunch of, it's two springs. Two springs into the center of the gear. <clears throat> it's pretty simple, uh, pretty little simple setup. And then the housing, that's all it is, just the housing. The bearings pressed on the ends. It's not much to these. Where's the other one? Alignment. Got an alignment there. Must go on only one way. Yeah, so, I mean, nothing to them. They come apart pretty easy. I uh, just figured that uh, I'd pull this apart. Uh, figuring, you know what I mean? Like, I have no plans on using any of this stuff. For anything because of having metal through the whole trans but uh yeah i mean that's it that's all there's to it all right see ya